guys, it's Tracy in Australia and my project share today is actually my April design team project for Calico Collage and um, it features the kit Spring Blush plus several uh, complimentary sets that go with it and um, all of that information will be in the description box so you can chase up um, anything that you see and like. Now because there are um, three different um, pieces to this little set I'm going to perhaps be a little bit quicker than I normally am. So um, I just keep everything together with this um, blue bow for presentation, but let's see what um, we've got. So there are three parts. I've got this uh, journal, which has a repurposed cover from a hardback novel that has one signature and measures four and a quarter by six. Then um, I also decided to make an envelope out of uh, a page in the, the page that's provided in the um, ephemera set. And I've just um, used some stamps on that and just made a little, just a little um, journaly thing to go in there with some leftover bits. Now I did use um, the flowered maidens uh, photo set again, because I just really, really like it and just put some odd little bits and pieces in here. And this was a page that was um, printed out twice and left over, so I've included that. And then I've also made a much, much smaller journal. It measures about three and a half by four and a quarter and is uh, quite scrappy. So we'll have a quick flip through that. The cover's actually uh, from the folio set, but minus the, the flat part. So just stamped that. And inside, uh, this was a piece of paper that I actually um, did with a paint wash so that it actually matches in with the journal, with the hardback journal. And then I've just got various bits and pieces, lots of collaging there, some washi, uh, paper doily, fussy cut piece from the kit, and then various little ephemera pieces um, this is some gorgeous onion, vintage onion paper that I found on eBay just recently. A uh, little pocket there out of uh, tracing paper with a little envelope that I've made. Um, these pages have largely been torn around. Here we've got um, um, a pocket made out of a lace scrap that I've sewn on. I particularly loved um, the, um, these flowers. I think they're lilacs. Gorgeous pieces of ephemera. Here uh, is an envelope that I have um, used um, and just converted it so it has its own little um, envelope flap there. Just popped in a piece of the ephemera. And to tie it together, I've just I've got a little torn piece that I've put on the top there. Just really beautiful colours. Um, here's a um, photo, another photo from that same set and I've just collaged around that. This is vintage paper from an old um, stamp album. Here I just um, made a little flip out. Um, it actually decorates the front of this a little bag. And there's just a little uh, off cut that I've turned into something that you could write on. On the strings are some little blue butterflies and so on. So I just quickly flip through that. I didn't, I decided not to tie, uh, tea dye the backs of the papers. Um, sometimes I just like the contrast of all the white and the creams and um, the off whites and things and I just really liked how um, that went with these papers. And I didn't stamp on them either, but you could, um, I, I did toy with the idea of using some script stamping because I really like that at the moment. So that's the little mini journal. And this was the one that I'd originally started with and I'm um, not sure that you can quite see there, but I've painted, um, the cover which is from um, an old novel and on the front of it were these little embossed butterflies and I'm not sure that the camera is going to pick them up but you can see them and I've also used uh, several different uh, Lindy's 
um, shimmer sprays on the front as well. So on the spine here, there's another butterfly. And I decided to add in some brass pieces because um, they went with this little piece of necklace that I wanted to add. Um, the size just really went with the journal. And it's a really pretty old um, brass colored necklace and these look like little moonstones. And I made a closure out of the same thing. I was having trouble deciding what to use for a closure and uh, I just went ahead and just to repurpose that. There's just a little ring through an eyelet there. So it's very simple. So inside, um, I used papers from the um, kit as the end papers and then a piece of ephemera that says, um, from the garden of, and uh, just a little stamp there that says story. And this is from a seed packet set that we were given, which really matches in with uh, these papers. And um, I've just sewn that onto a little piece of tea dyed paper. So while there are little bits and pieces that are tea dyed, like I said, I haven't tea dyed the whole thing. So here I fussy cut an element and put a, a paper doily behind it. This is a little tag that I've made. and another one of um, the seed packets. I printed out the seed packets in two different sizes and uh, I have used an edge punch up here too. Some little banners, um, these are included but I did cut them down in size and then I've made this really pretty um, little envelope to go in there and there is a little piece of writing paper in there. Again, another one of the photos, the flowered maidens and a little seed packet and a vellum uh, pocket, a little bit of collaging. And here you can see uh, another of the uh, blue pages that I did the paint wash on. I've used uh, two different colored doilies. This one's very cream and this one's white, just a lacy effect. Love hyacinths, one of my favorite flowers, so beautiful. And again here, the lilac. Just beautiful color and beautiful flowers. And I've put that onto some cardstock and used a bit of lace. And that all goes in a lace pocket with a little bead um, down there off a garment pin. More of the onion paper. This was a little um, tag that I recently received when I purchased um, some clothing. And I love the edge and I've kept that and repurposed that. Just some collaging up here with some um, stamped tags, another one of the blue pages. Love how that looks on there. I did really enjoy working with this kit. I love the flat, uh, the colors and I also love um, the layering. And down here I've included a little bit of muslin and some music paper as well as a little off cut piece and um, a fussy cut flower. So uh, muslin underneath that and just um, sewing on. There's a little bit of sewing, vintage music paper. This is a little Kaiser craft piece. More collaging. So all I've done with a lot of the pages is to print them out twice and just create little tuck spots, often with the doily, paper doilies underneath, just to um, create a little bit of um, interest and I love the lacy look. This was just a little off cut that I've fussy cut and used on um, part of a page. This one opens up. Yeah. So while it's decorated, it's I would not call it over over the top. Um, just add adding little bits of interest and creating pockets. It's a little stamped postcard, and I just like the fact that that cream, you know, just. Um, provides a bit of contrast to um, all of the printed pieces. Down here, um, 
I've just used a little bit of cream lace. A little bit of washi, just various bits and pieces, a little bit of sari. And another envelope that I've made, you can see there, I've added in the pocket and the doily. Now I really like um, just how the, um, the effect of the blue. I love iris as one of my favorite flowers. And this one, I've used the music um, page to have a little pocket. And that was an off cut piece from one of the pages that I double printed. So uh, I did reduce the size of these pages. Um, I printed them onto A5 uh, because of the size of the book cover that I was using. But I really like um, how that's turned out. So don't always feel that you have to print uh, kits out in the size that they um, are. You can um, play around and create different sizes and do all sorts of things. So you can see the hidden spine there and I've just included a little bit of lace. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. If you have any questions at all, um, feel free to uh, contact me and just leave me a message uh, or send me an email. I'm very happy to um, share what I do. Okay, thanks for watching guys and stay safe.